Lesson 34, Trigonometry, Part 6. We're going to be looking at solving more difficult trigonometric equations, and to do so we're going to be using substitution. So let's try solving this equation for values of theta between 0 and 180 degrees. Now we could simplify this equation if this just said the sine of any letter you like equals 0.5. So in fact that's what we're going to do. We're going to let any letter, let's choose y, equals this 3 theta. Then the equation becomes the sine of y equals 0.5, which is definitely an easy equation to solve. To solve this equation, we inverse sine both sides, and the inverse sine of sine y is y, and without a calculator, you should know that the inverse sine of, 30 of 0.5 is 30 degrees. If not, you could use a calculator. Then either by the equation method or a quick sketch of the sine graph, so that's y equals sine of y, there's 30 degrees, therefore this angle here will have the same sine value. In other words, y can also be, that's 180, 180 minus 30, in other words, 150 degrees. Now we can substitute back the y is in fact 3 feet. Up. So that gives three theta as being 30 degrees and three theta as being 150 degrees. So theta itself is 10 degrees or 50 degrees. But possibly that's not the only answers within this range. So let's see if there's some other values. So let's go back to here. If in fact we add 360 degrees to that, we get another cycle of the sine curve. And we get another possible value of y. So y could also equal 360 added on to the 30. Similarly, y could also equal 360 added on to the 150 degrees. So it gives us another two possible values values for y. So therefore this will give 3 theta equals 390 and 3 theta equals 510. So theta itself can equal 130 degrees and theta itself could equal 3 into 510, which is 170 degrees. In other words, within this range, we have got 1, 2, 3, 4 answers. Let's solve another equation. This time, let's solve it within the range of 0 to 360. So again, we want to simplify the equation by just making it tan of any letter you like equals 1. So we're going to do a substitution. We're going to let y equal that 2 theta. So the equation becomes the tan of y equals 1. Now if we inverse tangent, tangent y, we get y. And if we inverse tangent 1, we get 45 degrees, with or without a calculator. Let's again have a quick sketch of our tangent graph. And to do this we need the asymptotes going down through 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. I shall stick to using this graph method, but if you've got the formulas sewn up then that's okay. So 45 degrees is there. Therefore, this angle here 
will have the same tangent value. Therefore y could also equal 180 add on 45. In other words y could also be 225 degrees. So we found the value of y for this equation so if we now substitute back the information that y actually equals 2 theta in other words 2 theta can equal 45 degrees or 2 theta could equal 225 degrees which gives us theta equals 22 and a half degrees and theta equals 100 and 12 and a half degrees. But are there other values within this range? So let's go looking to see if there's other values. So, if we add another 360 degrees on this, we're considering another cycle of this graph. So therefore y could also equal 45 plus 360 degrees, which equals 405 degrees. But y could also equal a complete cycle on top of this another 360 degrees. In other words 585 degrees. Now what does that give? Which gives 2 theta substituted back for y says that 2 theta could be 405 degrees, giving you theta equals 202 and a half degrees. And again, substituting back 2 theta for the value of y gives me that 2 theta could be 585 degrees, so theta itself could be 222 and a half degrees. So I've got for theta 1, 2, 3, 4 values within this range. Now all of these answers you could check using a calculator and substitute back into this equation. The tan of 2 of this answer should come to 1. The tan of 2 of this answer should come to 1. And so on. So with a calculator it would be not too difficult to actually check that these are correct. Now let's move on to an equation looking a bit more difficult. So we're going to solve this equation for values of theta between 0 and 360 degrees. So we simplify the look of this equation by substituting for this piece of information any letter. I'm going to use y. So let y equals this piece of information here. In other words, theta plus 20 degrees. So therefore the equation does look a bit simpler now by saying that the sine of y equals the root of 3 over 2. Inverse sine sine y gives you y and the inverse sine of root 3 over 2 is one of those you should know and it's 60 degrees but you could use a calculator and check that. Now let's look at the sine graph. The sine graph goes like that between 0 and 180 and then like that between 180 and 360. Therefore there's 90, 60 degrees is there, and therefore this angle will have the same sine value as 60 degrees. In other words, 180 minus 60. So therefore y can also equal 120 degrees. Now these two results, when I substitute back, that y is in fact theta plus 20, so y being 60 means that theta plus 20 is 60. And if I substitute back, y is 120, so y is theta plus 20, so theta plus 20 is 120. Subtracting 20 from both sides gives me an answer of theta equals 40. Subtracting 20 from each side gives me an answer of theta equals 100. But are there other possible values? So if you look at our value of y and consider another complete cycle, y could also be 60 
plus a complete cycle of 360 or y could be 120 plus a complete cycle of 360.